Hello everyone. This hour on Verbling, the next in my pronunciation basics series, the, we're going to do practice with the sh and ch sounds, and particularly with consonants that are written but not said. We'll see what that means in just a moment. So that's a little bit about my class today, and here's a bit about me. I'm John Eric, your Verbling teacher for this hour, and I'm an American teacher but I'm hanging out from Lisbon, Portugal to bring you this class. Here are three quick rules to help you participate in my class. Remember to turn off, tune in, and open up. That means turn off your microphone when you're not speaking. Try to keep it off until you speak so we can cut down on the background noise. Unless I tell you to keep it on, some people have really good connections and then it's okay. Rule number two is tune in to the new words you're going to learn. Well, today we're going to work on sounds. So tune in to the new sounds you're going to learn. Try to activate whatever you learn by using it as actively as possible throughout the class. And rule number three is open up to classmates. Relax and have fun. We're all here to learn. This is a safe and respectful place to practice your English. By the way, if you open that John Eric Verbling Info PDF, which I uploaded under Class Material. You've got all my links in one place if you want to stay in touch. Follow me on Verbling to get notifications, read a tweet, chat with me on Facebook or Google+, watch a class on my YouTube channel, or even schedule a private class with me. So that's a little bit about me. Now I want to know a little bit about you. Oh, let's see if we can get the camera right. There we go. So welcome returning champions Carmen and Honorio. Nice to see you. Good morning. Hello. And let's say hello to Sabina. Hello Sabina. Hi teacher. Nice to see you once again. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> but I've never seen you before. You just, maybe this is the first time you have your camera on. Maybe that's it. So I don't recognize you because you didn't have your camera yes. on before. I did uh, a few classes with you, but I have a very few time to spend on verbing classes. And today I have a day off from oh, work. Oh, fantastic. So I take advantage of my free time. Excellent. And you've got your Christmas tree up. I can see just the corner of your Christmas tree. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, very good. Hey, there we go. Excellent. <laughs> I thought <laughs> I thought it was going to be a little a little bit bigger. <laughs> I saw the corner of it and I was like, "Oh wow!" But it's a nice, charming tree, not too big, not too small. Yeah, I've got I've got a new I've I've changed the position of my camera so that I can be more I don't know. So you can't see anything in my room anymore. I look like I'm in a, a concrete bunker. So where's the cat? The cat the cat is the cat's here. Hang on a second. You're not going to be able to see him. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> right. Do you see him? Yeah, I know. I yeah. see him now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's he's right. All right. Well, what are we going to do today? So today, Sabina, you are in the right class. Um, by the way, I just put in the new link because I made a mistake. I see three people, so it must be the three of you in pronunciation basics, the notes, right? It's the three of you? Yeah. I hope so. Just to double check, it looks like this. Make sure you're on this page or this document. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, I don't know where, what's going on with everyone these days? There was like no people on Friday. Today there's only three people. Is everyone still on vacation? Is that it? Is there I a in my case, I went for a trip on, on Friday, and I just came back yesterday. I know. It's, a, hol just... it's a holiday in Spain. Today. Yeah, it was Yeah, it was holiday on Friday. Where, where are you, Sabina? I don't remember. I'm from Italy. Oh, uh, from Italy. Okay. No holiday in Italy, right? No, yesterday was uh, a holiday, but it was uh, Sunday, so... What what was uh, the holiday yesterday? Uh, it's um, 
uh, holiday from the church, but uh, in Italy we stay also at home if uh, it is during the week. So December the 8th, uh, um, uh, it's a, a day f that we celebrate uh, uh, Mary, the, the mothers of Jesus Christ. But it's a uh, um, national holiday, so everybody stays at home. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a holiday here too, in Spain. Well, then like, it's, it's got to be a holiday here in Portugal too. I just yeah, I think it's Epiphany or something like that, so I'm not quite sure about it. The, but it was the, the, feast, the feast of the Immaculate Conception. Mm hmm is that it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Jeez, I didn't even know. I guess I know there's some holidays in December, but I never know what they are. Okay. The it celebrates the belief in the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, universally ce celebrated on December 8th. You see, that's the problem growing up Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know these things. Uh, but well, this year we are not so lucky because it was on Sunday. Maybe next year. Yeah. Next year is going to be Monday, so we we'll take day off too. <laughs> yeah. What's the problem with that Virgin Mary? Why couldn't she do it on a Monday? Come on. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, everyone. We're going to practice the sound. Which um, so what I'm doing now in the in this series. Oh, look, we got new people now in the background. Good. So new people come to class. We got plenty of space. If you go down to the table of contents to class 10, you'll see ch and sh, 9th of December. You can click on it, or you can just scroll down to page 3. I don't have any notes there yet. Right now, it's it's just says class 10. Okay. Um, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna but I'm gonna put notes there as we do the class. Uh, hang on just a second. So first of all, let's start with. Let's start with what it looks like if you go to a like a dictionary or something like that. What it actually looks like when you look it up. The phonetic symbol looks like. Hold on. Looks like this. You'll see it in just a moment. There you go. So, does that mean anything to any of you? When you see that those two symbols together, do you understand what that means? It, it's it's two sounds, not one. Can and can. Uh, what do you Which mean? one is it? Which one is it? Because I cannot get it. It's a. Take a look here. Take a look on the screen. So okay then. Okay, okay, okay. Class ten. And I and I put in the phonetic symbol for you to look at. Okay then. Sorry. The phonetic, the phonetic symbol has actually two symbols, not just one. So, can you recognize the two sounds looking at that phonetic symbol? Uh, the second one is shh. Well, take a look down below class ten, where you see in gray a slash, then you have T, mm -hmm. then you have a symbol. And then you have another slash. Mm -hmm. So the T, you all know what a T is, right? T. Mm -hmm. But what? But what is that symbol there that looks like a looks kind of like an F? Do you know what that is? That C H sound. Okay. But I, my question, sure. my question is, why do we write? Do you know why we write it the symbol with two different symbols and not just one? No, no idea. Okay. Let's, let, let's clarify that. That thing that looks like a, an F or looks like a kind of a long S stretched out, that's the phonetic symbol for the sound sh, sh. So if you put the T in front of it, it's supposed to represent ch, ch. Oh, okay, okay. So you'll see, if you see it alone, it's sh. If you see it together, it's ch. So these two sounds have the same position in your mouth, exact same position. By the way, the sh sound is not universal. If you learn Chinese, it's in a different position, and it's written with a different symbol. So sh, well, let's let's take a look at where it is. Uh, it looks like 
it looks like this. Here's a little diagram for you. I'll tell you what, I'll try to share my screen just for this part. Since I know who's in class, I don't need to actually see you. I'll try to share my screen there. All right, there's your mouth. Mm -hmm. um, to say the ch, you have to start to make a t. Yeah, there you go. So in number one, to make a T, if I was actually going to make a T sound, my tongue would touch the alveolar ridge, the bump, which is behind your teeth. T, T. So you start to make a T, but you move your tongue back, away from the roof of the mouth. So CH. So it's, it's like a sliding motion, but it's really fast. CH. CH. So you're sliding your tongue back away from the ridge, that little bump. I'm going to call it the ridge, the ridge, that, that little bump between your front two teeth that's behind them. So, so instead of a t, it's ch, ch. You, 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 uh, you do not use your voice. You don't have to go, ch. there's no vibration in your vocal cords. Um, Number two, sh, sh, is the sh sound, and look at the look at the way the air flows in number two, sh, sh. Actually, I don't really understand why they have one and two. It looks like they're different sounds, but you know what? It's not actually clear. Um, anyway, we're gonna get all the practice we need in just a second. So first of all, let's start with a way for you to remember these sounds. Here's a simple way to do it. You can always cheat. It's not cheating, actually. Give me just a second. I'm going to keep copying and pasting some notes for you on the screen. Hold on one second. Oh, let me get this. Okay, there we go. So you'll see this in just a second. Here's, here's a way to, it's not exactly cheating. I'm saying cheating, but it's not cheating. What you can actually do is have a little You can not really cut out this little diagram underneath the mouth. You're going to see in just a second. You can actually, oh, it's now on page four, sorry. You can actually cut it out, cover up the words, <laughs> cover up the top, and just practice saying and checking if you got it right. For example, let me share my screen again for this part, actually. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to say these words, but here's what I'm trying to suggest you do to practice. Mm -hmm. I would I would print out this page, and I would cut out I would cut out the pictures, and I would mix them up like playing cards in a deck. And what I would do is just look at it, say the word, and then look back to your to the printed page, right, to make sure you're getting it right. Another thing you can do is just listen to me. Go back to the this class, download it, convert it to an MP3 put it in your iPad or iPod or your i whatever you've got, your MP3 player. You can always check it that way. So listen to me go through the whole list one time. Then we're going to go through it together. Then we're going to do a million exercises so that you have it right. So I'm just going to go right down the list from column one and column two. Shop and chop, sheep and cheap, ships and chips, Cash and catch, wash and watch. All right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to say a number. You say the words in that row, in both columns. Okay? So, Carmen, the fifth. It's wash and watch. Wash, okay. watch. Very good. Wash, watch. And the second, Sabina. Sheep and cheap. What happened to Sabina? Are you there, Sabina? Yes, I am. Can you hear me? Sabina? Yes, yes, yes we can. Must be something wrong. Can you hear me, teacher? Ah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Sheep and cheap. Good. But pig. Uh, but say say it again. Let me hear the vowels. One more time. Sheep. Cheap. Perfect. Sounds good. 
Number one, Anario. Uh, sorry. Uh, shop and chop. Very good. Shop and chop. Number three, Carmen. Chips and chips. Very good. And number four, Sabina. Cash catch. Sounds good. Okay. So far, so good. So... Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start putting in little exercises. Give me just a minute here. So exercise one, I think you're just going to it's going to be listening, if I remember right. Exercise one you're gonna see probably on the next page. Hold on just a second here. Listen and listen and tell me. Actually, listen and tell me. Oh no, it's it's going to be on the next page. Give me a second. Okay, it's yeah. on page mm -hmm. on page five. Listen and tell me which word, which word you hear. Um. And then we're going to follow this up. We're going to follow this up with a second part. I'll put that on the same page. Hang on, just a second. Okay, I think I got it now. Sorry, because I've got I've got a I've got too many things open on my computer. That's why I'm having trouble. You can't see what I'm doing, but I have to, I have got PDFs open on my computer, and the Hangout is slowing down my computer, so it's confusing. One second, let me get to the right page. Okay, almost. Ah, here we go. Okay, this is bear with me, everyone. Almost there. Ah, okay, here we go. So I'll just go through, let's just go right around the room, starting with Mr. Anario. Number one is, so I, I'm going to say the word. If it's on the left, let's say we'll we'll, we'll call this A and B. <laughs> if it's on the left, it's A, and if it's on the right, it's choice B. So number one, the word is sheep. Um, left. Right. So let's say A and B to make it fast. So it's choice A, right? A. Yes. Correct. I want you to spell it like a native speaker. To spell it like a native speaker, you're going to have to group the letters together. So how would you spell the word on on the left, like a native speaker? S-A-H-E-E-P. Uh, Fantastic. S-H-E-E-P. So you're going you're gonna to group it in two, in two parts. S-H, pause, E-E-P. E-E. E-E. S-H-E-E-P. Okay, very good. Sabina, chips, number two, A or B? Uh, sorry, teacher, I didn't hear you. Listen, number two. Can you repeat, number, please? Number two is chips. Is it A or B? Uh, B. Of course. Spell it like a native speaker. You're going to group it in two, two halves. Uh, C-H... I P S. Very good. C H I P S. C H I P S. Exactly like that. I P S sounds like one word put together. I P S. C H I P S. Repeat. C H I P S. Perfect. Number three, Carmen, is shopping. Uh, it's B. It's A. It's A. How oh, how would a native speaker group those letters? S H O P P I N G. S H O sounds good. P P sounds good. I N G. P P I I think it would P P I N G. I would say it like that. S H O. No no no. Okay no. It could be in three. Yeah. S H O P P I N G. Yeah yeah. S H O P P I N G. Okay. Right. She said P P. She said P P. She said the word P P. 
Is it the same thing in Portuguese? <laughs> that is in Spanish? <laughs> no, in Portuguese it's she she. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but in English it's pee pee. Okay. I don't I don't know why the letters change, but they do for some reason. Uh, Anario number four is wash. <coughs> Eight. Very good. W W W A S G S S. Sorry. W A S A H. I would do it like this. W A. W W A A. So W A. W W A. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen one more time. W A. W A. Not double Jew. There's no two Jews. Double. Double. U. Double U. Good. W A S H. S H. Yeah, it sounds better like that. W A S H. And number five is catch, Sabina. Catch. B. Exactly. Uh, Spell it. C A T C H. Perfect. C A T C H. Very good. And Carmen, the last one is chose. It's B. It's B. It's uh, C H O S E. Perfect. C H O S E. All right. What are we doing in this part? See, I think I need to come up with something a little more challenging. Um, <laughs> All right. Well, we'll just practice the pronunciation. I think this is a little bit too easy for you, but unfortunately, that's the exercise I have. Okay. So, Anario, uh, let's just go through these sentences as quickly as possible, because I think this is easy for you. Okay. So, take number one for us. Uh, uh, <coughs> I like chips. Uh huh. Say it again, because it's so hard to hear you. Repeat. I don't like chips. Mm -hmm. I don't like chips. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. like chips. But here's the thing. You're dropping the T. You're saying, I don't, I don't lie. I don't right? like chips. Yeah. So maybe... To make it easier to not drop the T, okay. you could say you put the stress in a different place. I don't. I don't like chips. Like chips. I don't like chips. I don't like chips. Yeah, because you have you have the natural proclivity, the tendency to drop the T's when we shouldn't drop the T's. Sometimes we do. Absolutely, but not here. Um, and, and, I, and I can tell you why. If you if you follow the other pronunciation class, the uh, pronunciation, what what is it? I think it's the pronunciation practice class. There are these rules for pronunciation. In fact, f tools, six of them. Mm -hmm. Tool number four is the linking tool. Link it up. And there are four ways we can link things up. This is the first. Uh, don't. This is the first one. Let me think. Hold on a second. No, actually, it's different. No, 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 no. It's not the first one. I don't remember the order of the rules. Uh, it's a link rules. Sorry. Can be a link rules. A what rule? No. Uh, you are thinking about the uh, one link rules, the consonant to to vowels. Yeah, but it's yeah, yeah, but it's not number one because okay. it's that would be consonant to vowel, and this is not a vowel, mm -hmm. so it's consonant to consonant. But ah, okay, yeah, link the uh, yeah, yeah, join and drop uh, one consonant. Exactly, but here don't like. Uh, it's a, no, it's. it's um, uh, it's uh, a in the problem is that in a spa in a Spanish the consonant isn't so important than English. Right. For example, the consonant T is the different uh, with like and dislike. Right. And in Spain you say no, 
is a is one one work, right? But in in English is a one consonant uh, used to say like or dislike. It's very very important. The in English the consonant is uh, uh, I'm uh, I'm I. I I I recon uh, I agree with you by the I, way. I think you're right. It's very 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 important. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah, I agree. The vow the vowels are 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 very what's the word? They're kind of interchangeable. Okay. Yes. The problem that because every regional accent is different. So Every part of the UK has a different accent. Every, every, almost every part of the city of London, and in America, okay, there's less regional accents, but but there's a lot of variety of the way you see the vowels. But the consonants are 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 really fixed. They really don't change. Generally, there's there's one exception to that, which is that it's increasingly common to turn the T. Into a, a throat sound, a glottal stop. So instead of saying "don't," you'd say "don't," which is here, stopping the sound in your throat. Yeah. That's that's something that seems to be happening more in the language. But you're right. It's right. The, it, and in the test, in the sorry, in the tense and the past, past and present. Right. With the D and the T. Yeah. Well. I think in the in those in the tool number four from the other class, if I remember right, this would be rule number two in our link it up tool, which is consonant to consonant, and that's when you try to put two consonants together as if they're kind of like one, as if they're without a pause. So it's not that easy to do here because T and L are a bit different. But don't don't it's you have to sort of yeah it's not really an easy way to explain it either. Don't like. Don't like. Don't. Don't like. Yeah, it's not that easy to. It's not, I can't really give you a. Anyway, the point is, don't drop the T. Anyway, okay. don't drop the T. Oh, yeah, John, just one thing. Are those the, the the tools you gave us the other day when we were watching the Humphrey Bogart Sabrina's clip? Yep, that's it. That's uh, okay, the class. Okay. Okay. Eventually, I have. <laughs> well. In December, I'll have a lot more time, so I should be able to make all these little tutorials that I've been planning to do for the last six weeks, because I have uh, I should have a lot of time, should have a lot of time until January. So I, I can probably do that because I want to demonstrate everything. Um, well, Carmen, why okay. don't you try number two? Uh, those are those cheap. Uh, you don't know. <laughs> CH. Uh -huh. Here's the thing. I guess I guess the game here was that you were supposed to use <laughs> you were supposed to use the words that I said in the beginning, but maybe it's too difficult to remember. I'll tell you what. You're gonna you're gonna say the word, but you've got to follow it up with something that makes sense. Okay. So I'd like you to extend the sentence. So for example, Anario said, "I don't like chips." Right. Right, Anario? Yes. Right. I don't like chips. So why don't you like chips? Can That's you give me. a reason? No, no, Anario. Ah, for him. Ah, okay. Can you give a reason why you don't like chips? Because? <clears throat> what are they? Because, <coughs> um, uh, uh, because it is very bad for the health. Good. Because they are, they are very bad for your health. Okay. Your your meaning anybody, not not me, but anybody. Yes. Okay, good. So now we know that he's correct because chips well, ships can be bad for your health, but not for the same reason. Yeah. They, if they could sink. <laughs> but <laughs> chips will clog your arteries. Uh, okay, very good. So Carmen, mm -hmm. um, you said are those cheap? Mm-hmm. Okay. Why? Why would you ask that? Because? Uh, are those cheap? Because if they are expensive, I'm not going to buy them. Perfect. Sabina, try the same with number three. 
So you can choose either as long as you can justify your choice with a follow-up. Uh, he chose a lot of paintings uh, because he wanted to decorate the walls of uh, his house. Wow, he must have a lot of money. Okay, very good. And, and Carmen, what about number four? I've done all the... I've done all the chopping for dinner because, <laughs> the, because uh, I don't know how to answer this. <laughs> I have been chopping meat because the, the stick was too, too thick. Okay. <laughs> After you've done all of your chopping. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you've done all your shopping but because it's almost Christmas, but that's okay. You've done all of your mm -hmm. chopping because the meat was thick. Okay, Anario, what about number five? Uh, cool. Could you wash the car for me? Because? Because I am a man. Because what? I'm an, a man. Because you're a man and you don't work? <laughs> Is that why? I don't like washed. You say because you're a man? A man? You, uh, uh, you are not understand the joke. <laughs> but did, but I, uh, did you say man? Neither did I. What did you talk about it? Did you say man or like the opposite of woman? Yes. Ah, <laughs> because you're a man and and you you don't want to work. Is that it? I, I am I am a man and I don't like uh, clean wash. Ah, because you're you're dirty and disorganized. Yes. Okay. All right. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand. I <laughs> you should you should work on that scenario. There's there's you can no you, jokes. I <laughs> I don't do any jokes <laughs> anymore. <laughs> any times. It's the joke is okay. You just have to explain it, and then we'll get it. Okay. We'll get it. Uh, and Sabina, what about number six? Uh, I tried to cash the check. Um, but, but what because happened? I because I tried yesterday, but on Sunday the banks were all closed. Right, you couldn't cash your check if the banks were closed. All right, so sounds good. You all justified your reasons. Um, so I'm going to give you a list of words now that you can't read for exercise two. And I want you to say the things that you see. If you could spell them, that would be great as well. But the main thing is that you say them. OK, uh, some of these are, I guess, repeats. Hold on a second. Yeah, some of these are a bit of a repeat. OK, some of these are repeats, but some are not. OK, so Carmen, let's take number one. But let's see if you can figure out what that is without me telling you. I don't have any idea, because it has, it has to be a CH sound, so. Yeah, um, it doesn't have to start with the CH. It doesn't have to start with a CH. Can you give me a clue? Uh, it's green, <laughs> and you have to you have to kind of peel off the outer layer of each leaf in order to eat it. If I remember right. See a vegetable. Yeah. It's yeah. very healthy for you. <laughs> spinach? Oh no, no. No, because spinach gives a j sound, so it can't be spinach. I don't know what it is. Okay, pass. We'll come back to that. Okay. We'll come, we'll come past that. So, number two, that's easy because it says it. <laughs> okay, chips. Chips is pretty easy. Number three, Anario, what do you think that is? This, uh, grapes. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> grapes does not have a CH sound. <laughs> I can tell you in Portuguese what it is. In Spanish, I don't know. In Portuguese, it's cerezas. Cerezas. Ah. Cerezas. Cerezas. <laughs> Not cerezas, cerezas, but cherries. cerezas. Cherries. Yep. Very good. Cherries. Sabina, number four, that's pretty easy. Cheese. It's cheese. What kind of cheese? What kind of, what kind of I cheese? I don't know. Gruyere, because it got holes in it, no? It's got holes in it, yeah. So you got Gruyere, maybe. I was going to say Swiss cheese, because mm -hmm. you know, Swiss cheese, you always see that in like 
the cartoons like Tom and Cherry from the 1940s, Swiss cheese, because it's got it's famous for having holes in it. Maybe Gruyere does as well, uh, Emmental as well, I think, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we, we, in America, we call it Swiss cheese because we don't know that much about cheese. <laughs> in America, there's two types. Ask there's, a friend and he will tell you. <laughs> yeah. So there, there's two, there's like three types of cheese. There's American cheese. That's actually the name. Uh, there's, there's Swiss cheese, which is like anything with holes in it. And then there's cheddar cheese, which is kind of like British mm. cheese, something mm -hmm. like that. There you go. That's, that's all we know about cheese. Like we've got wine and we've got cheese, and that's as far as we go. Uh, number five. What do you think, number five? Uh, Carmen, don't say turkey, please. No, it's chicken. It's chicken. Very good. And number six scenario. What do you think that is? Uh, I think that is a pepper. It is not a peeper. It's a pepper. Uh, pepper. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pepper. What kind of pepper? Ch chili. Yeah, a chili pepper. A chili pepper. Ah, okay. Ah, a chili pepper. Okay. Chili pepper. How do you spell chili? Do you know? Uh, I I never eat chili. Uh, but how do you spell them? You don't have to eat them, but how do you spell them? C H uh, E L. L and E. E or I? E or I? E. E or I? I. I. <laughs> In American English, C H I L I. C H I L I. In American English. Although I have seen it spelled with two L's, by the way. But that's how we spell it. C H I L I. Let me just double check because maybe I'm telling you something wrong. Hold on. No, no, I'm right. Okay, see, I, it's one, one L, one L, C H I L I, and number number seven, Sabina. Oh, that's difficult to tell. What is that? Very difficult. It's a sandwich. It's a sandwich. That's easy. So these are all C H sounds. What about number eight, Sabina? Th th that was too easy. What about number eight? Oh my God. <laughs> number eight. Uh, I don't know the name in English. What's the name in Italian? Carciofi. That's it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tran let me go to Google Translate. But that sounded right to me. Uh, it, 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 in Portuguese, it's Alcachofra. <laughs> ah, it's like in Spanish. So, does anyone know in English? Yeah, artichoke. Artichoke, very good. In, a, in, in, in Italian, carciofi. Carciofi. Ah, okay. In Italian, carciofi. Uh, in Latin, it's cactus. <laughs> according to according to Google Translator, I somehow don't know if I believe that. I'm not sure. It's quite surprising because uh, here, where I live in Valencia, we speak Valenciana too, mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, carciofa. Carciofa. So yeah, it's like Italian, but with a with an A at Carciofa. In Chinese, it's Chia <laughs> Xin How do you know? Chia Xin Qi. Chia Xin Qi. There you go. Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're in when you're in China, you now know how to ask for an artichoke. I'm not sure if you'll get one, but now you know how to ask. And number nine. Oh, Carmen, I think you know what number nine is. Uh, chocolate. Chocolate. By the way, there's chocolate, like I say, and then there's kind of the other pronunciation, the Midwestern chocolate, or kind of a chocolate sound. So it depends on where you're from. I say chocolate. And number one, Carmen, what was number one again? I don't know. I, uh, I have no idea of that. And it's a bit, all you said is green or yellow? Green, green and leafy. Green but you, no, what did you say earlier? Did I say something? You did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said I didn't you said, know that. You said spinach. <laughs> you said oh, spinach. Yes. Yeah, yes, it's not, so kind of, yeah. yeah. But you told me it's not. It's, you told me it's not. Because of the because of the pronunciation, ah. it's it shouldn't be. But um, 
but I'm looking back at my answer key and apparently they count it as a ch, but I don't. I don't say it that way. So I think you were right, because I, I thought that was an artichoke, but I just looked at quick. I just looked at the answer key. In fact, no, the the artichoke is the eight. Uh, yeah, I know that now, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I hadn't gotten that far. So, ah, okay. so, so because I don't say spinach, I say spinach with a j, like John. Ah, okay, okay. But apparently, that's not what the at least the authors of this particular material. It's not my material. That's what they say. Ah, okay, uh, okay. All right. So, let me just see where we are here. I think we've got one more thing we can try here. The problem here is that I wonder if this is all too easy for you. That's what that's what worries me. Okay, I got one more thing we can do here. Okay. Yeah. I want you to to answer three questions. I'm going to post this below in exercise three. In order to answer the three questions, whoops, let's call this exercise three. On the next page, which is page six. Um, everyone, read a question out so we know what we're doing. Carmen, read number one for us on page six. Okay, number six. Which foods in task say the Rachel? Don't worry about the task, but yeah. Ah. Which foods? Which foods um, do Rachel and Charles talk about? Okay, so we're going to hear, um, uh, in, uh, just like an excerpt from a TV show, you know, like Master Chef or something like that. Uh -huh. Charles, Charles interviews a different chef on his cooking show every day, uh, which is called Lunch with the Chef. Today he is interviewing Rachel Richard. Rachel Richard, you see where this is going? Charles and Rachel Richard. Anario, read the second question out for us. What is Rachel's favorite food? What is Rachel's favorite food? Rachel's. Rachel's. Yeah. What is her favorite food? And Sabina, can you read the third one out for us? Which food is in all three dishes that she is going to make? Which food is in all three dishes she's going to make? Very good. Okay, to get the answers, I want you just to use your ears. And there's going to be lots of ch and sh sounds. Okay, so I'm going to read this dialogue once. You answer the questions. And then we're going to, uh, I'll, I'll post it for you to read a second time. This time you'll be reading, not me. <clears throat> Here's the interview. Charles says, hello everyone, you're watching Lunch with a Chef. Today, Rachel Richard, the chef at Artichoke Cafe, will be making lunch on our kitchen, in our kitchen, sorry. Welcome, Rachel. Rachel says, thank you, Charles. Charles, for lunch today, Rachel will make three dishes from a restaurant, Artichoke Cafe. Rachel, tell us about the dishes you've chosen for the show. Rachel, well, Charles, I'll be making spinach and artichoke dip, stuffed artichokes and chicken with, Charles says, Artichokes? Rachel, naturally. Charles says, I guess artichokes are your favorite food. Rachel, actually my favorite food is chocolate, but artichokes are my are my favorite vegetable. Rachel, uh, Charles, so Rachel, which dish will you start with? She says, the spinach and artichoke dip. He says, w uh, what goes into that besides spinach and artichokes, of course? What makes your, your dip so rich and creamy? She says, well, I use a mixture of cream cheese and cheddar cheese. Charles says, interesting. Anything else? Rachel says, yes, some chili pepper, either a fresh chili or chili powder. He says, how much chili powder? Rachel says, oh, not too much chili powder, just a pinch. Charles says, hmm, sounds delicious. We'll be back after these commercials with two more special dishes from Artichoke Cafe. And that was our radio broadcast. So, can you answer those questions? First question, which food do Rachel and Charles talk about? Which foods, I should say? Think about the, what we, think about the words that we identified in exercise two. Which of those were, were discussed? Nobody, really? Yeah. They're talking about artichokes, <laughs> so chicken. Art okay, artichokes, yes. Chicken, Chick yes. And spinach. How do you spell? How do you pronounce that? Spinach. 
I pronounce it spinach. J. Spinach. That's spinach. how I say it. Okay, spinach. Okay, that's three. Sorry. So we've. Go Sorry. ahead. Cream of uh, something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cream of something, <laughs> right? Cream what? Okay, but besides that, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six total, and I've heard half. I've heard three out of six. Six Carmen, chocolate too. Ah, that's four chocolate. That leaves two more. And Anario is right, but he only got half of the. He only got half of it. And there's one more. Stuffed artichokes. Say again, Sabine. Stuffed artichokes. Stuffed artichokes. That's right, De Carmen. Did you say artichokes? Yes, yes. Artichokes, okay. chicken, and, and spinach. Spinach, right? Yeah. And, and then you added, then you added chocolate, so that's four. Mm -hmm. And, and I think you say some, yeah. Two more. Some cream, some creamy. If it was made out of. Um, Case, but I'm not sure. Yeah, in in Spain, you'll see this as something called Philadelphia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the real name is cream cheese. Okay. Cream cheese. The brand is Philadelphia, but mm -hmm. the actual stuff is, and in Portuguese, it's like requeijão, and uh, in Spanish, it's probably the same basic thing. How do you say it? How do you what do you call soft cheese in Spanish? It's, it's in Italian. It's it's like kind of like ricotta. It's a little bit like ricotta. Onorio, oh, yes. <laughs> cream cheese in Spanish. I don't know. Cream chips. Cremoso. Yes, just spread it. And, but I'm not. I don't know. Yeah, that's what you do. It's like spreadable cheese, mm -hmm. and it's and it's it's like it's like ricotta in Italian, right, Sabina? Yes, we yeah? have the ricotta, but there is also the Philadelphia. <laughs> but what 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 do you call the Philadelphia type of what do you call that in Italian? Besides Philadelphia, what do you call it? Uh, you don't use the ricotta to spread it on bread, but um, uh, you use it uh, to make some dishes. Right, right, like uh, mascarpone, right? Mascarpone, it's a different because it's. Um, it's like that, though. Is more, it? there is more fat. There is, it's fatter than ricotta. Ricotta right. uh, doesn't have so much fat inside. Right, right, right. Well, I don't know. I don't know if there's an if there's a translation. Then, <laughs> I was trying to think of the closest word. Uh, anyway, so whatever it is in Italian, in Spanish, in English, it's cream cheese. But we're still missing one 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 of those items. We're missing one thing. And Mr. Onario, you have to know what it is, because you were the one who pointed it out earlier. Uh, okay. What do you think? About <laughs> <laughs> red hot chili. Chili. Some chili sauce, I think she said. It said chili peppers. Hmm. I don't remember exactly where it was, but it was chili peppers. Um, but just let's take a pinch. Just a pinch. Yeah, there you mm -hmm. go. Okay, let's take a look at the dialogue. Oh, wait, wait, not yet. What is Rachel's favorite food? Do you remember? Chocolate. Chocolate. Very good. And finally, uh, what food is in all the dishes she's going to make? Artichokes. Artichokes, because she's from the artichoke cafe. Cafe. Okay. So, that I read. Well, it's a little slow. There we go. Okay. Um, let's read this once just for pronunciation. Okay, Carmen and Anario, you're going to start, but then Sabina, I'll bring you in halfway. Okay. So, uh, Carmen. So why don't you do Rachel and Anario? Why don't you do Charles? Okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> go for it. Uh, sorry. Mm. Mm. See it? Uh, sorry, it's the phone. T tell, okay. them to, tell them to go away. Yeah. Tell him to be safe. 
Nah. Hello, everyone. You are watching Lunch with the Chef. Lunch with a what? You are watching Lunch with a Chef. With a chef? No. no. <laughs> with a chef. Chef. Yeah. Lunch with a chef. Good. Today, Richard, 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 mm, sorry. Today, Rachel, Rachel Richard, Rachel uh, Richard. Today, Richard, Richard, the, the chef, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> it's very, <laughs> the phone, yeah. <laughs> The my, my, my wife, uh, uh, today Richard Richard, uh, the chef at Arch Shock Coffee. Artichoke. Artichoke. Cafe. Cafe. We say it like the French word, cafe. Cafe. We'll be making lunch in our kitchen. Welcome, Richard. One more thing. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, eh, welcome. welcome. Go ahead, go ahead, Carmen. Oh, thank you, Charles. For lunch today, Rachel will make three dish dishes from her restaurant, Artichoke Cafe. Rachel, tell us about the dish dishes you've chosen for the show. Good, except you. You've. You've, not you've, but you've, you've, yeah. You've chosen for the show. Good, good. Well, Charles, I'll be making the spinach and that's a top dip. Stuff, spinach. A, a spinach. A spinach. First syllable. First syllable. Spinach. 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 Good. And that's a top dip. Stuffed artichokes and chicken with artichokes. Naturally. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> I guess artichokes are your favorite food. Are your favorite or favorite? Favorite. Favorite. One more time, the whole line. Favorite. The whole line from the beginning, I guess. I guess artichokes are your favorite food. Actually, my favorite food is chocolate, but so artichokes are my favorite vegetable. But artichokes are my favorite vegetable because R is in italics. Ah, okay. But artichokes are my favorite vegetable. So, Rachel, what dish will you start with? Sabina, let's bring you in here. You're Rachel now. The spinach and artichoke dip. Is it spinach or spinach? Spinach. Spin. Spinach. Spin. Spinach. That's Spinach. It. Good. And artichoke dip. 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 Not deep, because deep is like profundo. This is dip. Okay. Right? Deep. Dip. But I'm still hearing deep. So we have to get the short I sound for dip. Like sit. Okay. Dip. dip. That's dip. it. Good. Yeah, good, good. Go for it, Anario. What was, what was into that? Besides spinach and artichokes, of course. What makes your dip, dip so rich and creamy? Good, but is it your or your? <laughs> your. Right, so what makes your? What makes your dip so rich and creamy? Perfect. Well, I use a mixture of cream cheese and cheddar cheese. Good. Interesting. Anything else? Yes, some chili pepper, either a fresh chili or chili powder. How much chili powder? Oh, not too much chili powder, just a pinch. Just a pinch. Just mm. a pinch. Right, mm. good. Mm, it sounds delicious. Delicious. 
it sounds delicious. No, it's no s. It's a sh. Delicious. Delicious. Good. De delicious. <coughs> well, we'll be back. We'll, we'll, we'll be back. Say it like this: we'll, like the wheel of your car. We'll, we'll be back after these commercials with two more special dishes from Artichoke Coffee. One more word: special. It's a special. That's it. It's a sh sound. Okay. Okay, one more thing before we go. One more thing, very important, very important, which is I want you to look at these 10 words which will appear on page 7 in just a second. I'm going to call this exercise 4 and you'll notice some of those words, some of those words in the last exercise are pronounced differently than they should be. And yet here's why. So let me move this exercise three down to page seven. How many syllables do you hear in these words? Well, number one, there's two syllables. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Chocolate. How many syllables in number two, Carmen? Interesting. Four. Interesting. Guess again. Three. Guess again. Three. So yes. say it with three syllables. Interesting. Interesting. In, in trusting. In trusting. In, in trust. Trust. Interesting. Ah, now interesting. Good. Interesting. Okay. Anario, uh, number three. How many syllables? Special. Uh, two syllables. Two syllables. But is it special or special? <laughs> special. Good. Two syllables and it's a sh sound. Special. Good. Special. Okay. <coughs> Number four, Sabina. How many syllables? Uh, temperature. Temperature four. Three. Three. <laughs> Try again. Uh, temperature. That's better, yeah. So you don't say the A. It's not temperature, it's temperature. 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 SH, temperature. SH or, temperature. or CH? Do you hear an, M, an SH or a CH? Ch. Yeah, exactly, a ch. Temperature. Temperature. Th. Very good. And number five, Carmen. Delicious. Delicious. Deli two. Well, you're not saying two there. The, uh, three then. Delicious. Okay. Delicious or delicious? Delicious. Th sound. Right. Delicious. Delicious. Wait. Ch or sh? Sh. Sh. Right. The sh sound. Very good. Delicious. Okay. Anario number six. Vegetable. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Three syllables, not four. Not vegetable, that's four. Try it with vegetable. three. Vegetable. That's it, good. Vegetable. 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 Okay, it's three. Three. And it's not a ch or a sh, it's j, like John, vegetable. I say it as like a j sound, so I'm going to put a DJ, because that's the way I say it, vegetable. Vegetable. If you say it fast, maybe you would say vegetable with a ch. So it's it's up it's up for debate, but I don't say it with a ch sound in my accent. Okay? So some people might. What I'm saying is there's some flexibility here. Okay, number seven, uh, Sabina. Uh, favorite. How many syllables? Three. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Try again. Uh, favorite. Favorite. I'm still hearing three. Listen to me. Uh, yeah. favorite. 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 Listen. Fa. Pay. Fa. Favorite. 
Vrit, favorite. Yeah, the the, uh, the favorite. V and the R are together. Vrit, vrit. Favorite. Favorite. Perfect. Okay. And number eight, Carmen. Everyone, everyone, everyone. Three. Three syllables is everyone. correct. Everyone, and that's easy. Number nine, uh, an Ario? Naturally. Mm hmm. Three syllables. Correct. It's ch. And it's a ch. Naturally. Good. Very good. And the last one's to be in at number ten. Commercials. Three. Good. Three syllables. And what's the predominant sound? Ch or sh? Commercial. Commercials. Commercials. Okay, S very good. H. Very good, very good. That's it. So this exercise three is really important because these are all irregular sounds where we drop normally, in, uh, not normally, I meant to say, we always drop one syllable in almost every one of these except for every one naturally. Right? We don't drop anything there. But the other ones are good because you can really see that we drop the syllables. Mm. Right? Not chocolate, but chocolate. Interesting. Not, mm. not favorite, mm. but favorite. Right. And that's right. universal. You're not going to hear people say it differently anywhere that I've noticed, unless they have some personal quirk. But generally, I think it's pretty much the same everywhere. All right, we've got to stop. I hope this was somewhat useful. I hope it so. Was. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, very, very interesting. Difficult. Very difficult. All right. Well, well, we'll keep getting some more practice, and tomorrow we can apply this new found knowledge about shiz and chiz to a pronunciation practice class. So you can have much more speaking time. Okay? So we're going to stop now. Sorry, uh, I don't know who just joined us now. Quack, is it? Sorry, we were, starting, we're stopping now because I have another class, but come back in one minute and 30 seconds for our business class if you like, and I hope you do. And by the way, if you need to reach me, as always, you can do it here, oh, where's my chat window? You can do it here at any of these links. There you go. Okay, bye for now, everyone. Come back Thank for the business you, class in one minute. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.